All right, Mike, I have made an arrangement of all the high values near right. the top of the deck. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to show you something unusual about the diamond suit. Okay. That hardly anybody knows. And the other three suits don't have this property. So what I did was I removed all the uh, high values of the deck. That's ace j through jack. Right. Okay, sounds great. And I put a particular order on them right here. So, right there, here's my aces. They are every fourth card's a diamond. Club, heart, spade, diamond. The diamond's the fourth one in the group. I see that. And then the kings is the same way. There's our four kings right here. I see that. And the diamond is the fourth one. And then I've got my four queens, and the diamond is the fourth one right there. I see that. And then we've got our one, two, three, four jacks, and the diamond suit is the fourth one. I do see that okay. also, yep. All right, so we Absolutely. are going to make four columns of our, our high values here, marking each fourth card with the diamond, okay? All right. Now, I also need you to do this. Let's get this deck out of the way. That's even stack. Right here, with what's left over, just give those cards a cut. A cut? Anywhere you want. All right. And I'll tell you what, I'll mark the cut. Got right it. There. We'll come back to that in a little bit. All righty. Now, it turns out that this diamond suit, right. it's magnetic. And I'll show you what I mean. Okay. You can switch any two adjacent cards there, any two adjacent columns. Just switch the top card, though. All right, top cards. I'll two adjacent, yeah, switch, any two. I'll switch the queen over to the right and the king over to the left. Okay, okay. perfect. You switched them. You I know switched they got them. switched. Right. We just have to wait about 10 seconds. Okay. And it happens. And it happens. Yeah. It's like a magnet. The, a value follows that diamond suit. Look, I got all the queens here now. Let's try this again. Got right. all four of them there. Let's try this again. You can switch any two adjacent. I will switch. I'll take the king and move it over to where the jack is. Okay. And move the jack off to the right side right here. All right. Just like that. So you switched them. I switched them again. You got we it. We just wait about 10 seconds. Okay. And it happens. Value follows suit. We got all four jacks right there. Now I think we're not too far. We're getting along some distance here. Right. But look, let's try it. Okay. Switch those two. Okay. I'll the ace and the king. The ace over this way to the left, and the king will come over this way like that. There you go. And we just wait. Right. And sure enough, yeah, value follows suit. I got all four kings. Now, remember what I said at the very beginning? That's amazing. Every diamond in the deck has this property. So right at the beginning, I said, cut the cards. Right. We're going to use the first diamond that you cut to. First right. diamond. So I got heart, club, heart, heart, diamond, 10 of diamonds, 10, 10, of, 10 diamonds. of diamonds. So I'm going to switch the 10 and the ace. Right where you cut, I put the ace. Okay. And I just wait. Okay. About two seconds. And all four aces come over here. And what's over here? All four of our 10s right there. That's amazing. That's really, really good. I like that a lot. That was hey, if you like the effect, give it a thumbs up. Now, this effect has a lot of history. A lot of people added their ideas to make this particular routine happen. Uh, Diverna, of course, created the Follow the Leader plot many, many, many years ago. And I got started on this routine when I read Tom Frame's uh, book called Framework. He had an effect in there called Leadership Potential. And it was somewhat similar to this. Uh, I started, then I, I did it for about a year, and then I kind of quit doing it. And then I saw John Bannon do a lecture last summer at Magic Live, and he had a version of this effect, but he credited it to a, a fellow by the name of Roxy. So I went over to him after the lecture. I said, I thought this was a Tom Frame effect. Turns out that in Pambular Magazine, volume seven, issue three, Roxy had a routine called Surprise, Follow the Leader. But it wasn't as good as this routine because the magician did the whole thing. He switched the packets and they went in order. Jacks to queens to queens to kings, kings to aces. So in the frame version, which I'm pretty sure he independently thought of himself, he had this killer idea where the spectator can switch any two uh, adjacent packets, which really, I think, adds to the routine. 
And then uh, I had back in 1972, along with uh, my friend Carmel Heck, at the Wednesday Night Magic Club, we came up with a really casual, really made Ed's Aces Over King's ending feel real impromptu. So when the frame book came out, I added that ending. Bannon also, John also added that, that ending, and John has a completely self-working version of this effect. I, of course, love the little moves and things like that, so the M.O. on this is my M.O. Anyway, I hope you like the effect, and if you love ungimmick sleight of hand card magic, make sure you click on subscribe over there. It really does help me out, and if you want to see a really fun trick with some poker chips, one of the classics, Click on that link right over there. My name's Al Ackerman. Hope to catch you the next time.